Today in the context of the urban environment, the three main problems are water supply, wastewater management and reduction of energy use so as to reduce global warming. In our house here in Indore, we have tried to address all these three issues. With regard to wastewater management, what we have done is the wastewater from the kitchen that is treated in a soap pit and recharged into the ground. The wastewater from the bathroom, that is the bathing and washing water, that too is uh, treated in a soap pit and recharged into the ground. This is a soap pit and uh, inside the soap pit you have uh, brick crush and then sand. So the water that comes out from the outlet of the septic tank at around 55 milli, uh, milligrams uh, per litre biological oxygen demand, when it goes through the soap pit, the brick crush and the sand, and then when it reaches the ground, it is only around 15 to 20 milligrams per litre uh, uh, biological oxygen demand, which is basically uh, it's a it's a kind of uh, sewage treatment plant, a very small, a very small household level sewage treatment plant. The main problem is with regard to the wastewater from the toilets, which has a high biological oxygen demand of around 700 to 800 milligrams per litre. That water is treated in a two-chamber septic tank. This is a septic tank system. There is a uh, motor running which puts uh, air into the uh, second chamber and that uh, cleans up the water much more. So you normally in an anaerobic uh, system you will get the outlet water at 200 milligrams to 250 milligrams per uh, liter, the biological oxygen demand. Whereas in this you get it at 50 to 55 milligrams per liter. In normal septic tank, anaerobic decomposition uh, takes place, which is uh, uh, very long, and it does not uh, treat the water properly, and it treats it treats it only up to around 200 milligrams per liter. Uh, but in our septic tank what we have done is in the second chamber we have inserted uh, an air bubble diffuser that uh, pops air into the second chamber. So that makes it into an aerobic decomposition which is four times more uh, efficient than anaerobic decomposition and it also does not uh, produce uh, foul smelling gas. Uh, in this process the uh, biological oxygen demand comes down to around 50 to 55 milligrams per litre. Then this water is put into a soap pit and that reduces the biological oxygen demand to a further around 20 or 25 milligrams per liter which is okay for release into the ground. So in our uh, house all the waste water is treated and recharged into the ground and all the uh, rain water also is collected and recharged into the ground. Thus no, not a single drop of water leaves our house. Now this water goes into the ground and it raises the groundwater level. So we have a hand pump along with our tubewell system. So that gets the water. The water supply that we get is from the ground. So we are not connected to the municipal system either for water supply or for wastewater. And all the water is being used and recharged. Secondly, the water that uh, is there in the waste that we use to uh, water some creepers. This is a creeper called Mathumalpi. It's very uh, good and there's some grape also. So uh, this covers the house and keeps it full. You can see. And the first, this is the eastern wall, but even then it has been covered, all these creepers. And then we have these uh, banana trees. So they also uh, keep the house too. So even in summer when there are temperatures around 40 to 45 degrees outside, within the house the ambient temperature is only around 30 degrees centigrade. Uh, in addition to that, we have cross ventilation. The house has been designed in such a way that the windows and doors have been uh, in such a way that there is cross ventilation. And on the windows we have husk curtains, that is vetiver grass curtains. And those curtains we have water uh, uh, dripping onto the curtains. So when the air comes in, then it, it gets cooled when it passes through this uh, uh, grass curtain and comes into the house. So that there is natural uh, cool air uh, flowing through the house, so we don't even have to use fans. So in this way, the wastewater that we have, uh, that, uh, that we generate, that is used to uh, cool the whole house and uh, uh, obviate the use of electricity for uh, uh, fans, coolers and ACs. We have to use fans sometimes very little 
but coolers and ACs also are not we can do without those coolers and ACs. So we have a system now that is it's an uh, urban environment, but within that urban environment we have become self-sufficient for water and we do not pollute the uh, the, the outside environment with our waste water. And at the same time, we use this waste water to have a green uh, uh, roof and a green wall, which keeps the house cool. The installation of the sewage treatment plant and the recycling of the uh, waste water for use in flushing toilets and gardening that comes to about an initial cost of around fifty thousand rupees per household, which is not a very great uh, uh, cost considering that a house normally costs around ten to twelve lakhs at least to build. So, uh, if it's a flat or if it's a bigger house, a bungalow, then it costs some 50 lakhs or so in this in indoor city. That is the kind of money that people are paying for those houses. They can easily, you know, spend another 50 thousand to take care of this uh, water treatment, and that reduces the load on the uh, municipal system. So, in this way, with an investment of only around 50 thousand rupees and a running cost of around 200 to 300 rupees a month, we can have. A system which is environmentally uh, very uh, good and uh, saves on global warming.